Do you know the difference between ristretto, single shot of espresso, double shot of espresso, and a lungo shot of espresso? Well, if you don't, we're going to give you an in plain English explanation of each of these shots of espresso, and that's coming up next today on aromacup.com. Hey guys, I'm Brian with aromacup.com. Thanks as always for tuning in to my virtual coffee shop brought to you by aromacup.com. Now, as I said earlier, I am going to be giving you a simple in plain English explanation today of the difference between four different very common espresso poles. And this is for you guys at home who have a single serve espresso machine and are just maybe a little bit confused about the volume of coffee that you're gonna be making when you make a ristretto, a single shot, a double shot, and a lungo. Ristretto, in plain English, means very simply restrained. Not as long a pull of espresso, going to be very intense and give you that nice shot of what the real flavor of espresso is going to be. Single shot, it's one single shot of espresso, about 25 to 30 milliliters, going to be pretty intense, good for drinking on its own or adding to some milk or another beverage of some kind. Next up, we have the double shot, going to be very intense, going to consist of two coffee capsules and a single pull on each of those. Great for adding to, again, lattes, ice drinks, things like that, or perhaps drinking on its own. Also great for adding some hot water to, making a cafe Americano. Finally, we have our Lungo, which again is going to be just one double shot pulled through one capsule of coffee. That's a long pull in plain English, the Lungo. Gonna give you that intensity, maybe not as intense, and always great for adding to milk or another beverage of some kind. What you want is a shot glass with this hash mark on it. And this hash mark is going to tell you exactly what a single shot of espresso is. It's gonna tell you essentially the volume of coffee that you're going to get that's going to match a single shot. Get yourself one of those and you can calibrate your machine very easily. Now we've already calibrated our machine here in the studio uh, to work in single shot increments. This is very important because, as I say, the first pull I'm going to do is a single shot. So I'm going to take my capsule and drop it into my machine. Okay, now all that I'm going to do is press the single shot button on my Nespresso Pixie, and this is going to do one single shot of espresso. And you can see right there, I've hit just right on that hash mark. My crema goes a little bit above and that's because I get a good crema, but that, that is a single shot of espresso. So if you have one of these shot glasses at home, this is what a single shot is going to look like. This is the volume of coffee that you're going to get from a single shot of coffee. Now for those wondering what exactly that volume is, it's about 25 to 30 milliliters. There's a little bit of play in there, but 25 to 30, that's your single shot. So we're going to just pour this into our cup. Now, a single shot has a couple different uses. You can just simply drink a single shot. If you like a nice quick shot of espresso, you can simply drink it. More typically, you're going to use that single shot in a latte, a cappuccino, some kind of beverage that you need a single shot of espresso as part of a greater recipe. That's usually what your single shot is going to be used for. But that said, that's a great little shot of espresso to just drink and then move on with your day. Now, Let's talk about doing a double shot of espresso. Now, a double shot, very simply, is going to be the volume of coffee that would give us two single shots. So this is going to use two coffee capsules. That's the important thing here because this is going to keep the intensity of a double shot of espresso. So in order to do this, I'm just gonna brew a single shot twice. So I popped my capsule into my Pixie, and again, I'm gonna start by hitting a single shot. Now again, I'm coming right up on that hash mark. Get that last little couple drips. That is one shot. Now, I'm not going to brew into that same capsule again. Big difference here. Eject that capsule, take a secondary capsule, drop it in, brew a single shot again. Now again, 
single shot of espresso. And that, my friends, is your double shot. Two single shots of espresso giving you a very intense coffee. Now, this works really well for an Americano. Add some hot water to this and you have sort of an American style coffee but with a little bit more intensity to it. Again, a double shot, also great for some form of mixed coffee drink. Uh, not necessarily for cappuccino because we don't usually do double shots in most cappuccinos, but you could obviously. Um, but lattes, maybe some kind of iced drink, things like that. That's what your double shots can be great for. Drinking it straight, of course, also just fine. I have no problem with that. If you guys don't either, I say go for it. Final note right there. Now, as you guessed, if my single shot is about 25 to 30 milliliters, I'm gonna be looking at somewhere between 50 or 60 milliliters on a double shot espresso. Now, let's talk about a lungo from our Nespresso machine. Now, a lungo simply means essentially a long shot. It's not going to be as intense as the other uh, shot types that I've pulled here, and it's going to be done in one stop. You're just gonna simply brew and then you're done. So, we're going to use, again, an espresso capsule in our Pixie. Gonna add my mug. I'm just gonna use one of my larger ones, just go directly into that, because I couldn't do a lungo into this one shot cup, it would overflow. So. Now again, we've calibrated our machine. You want to make sure that you've calibrated your machine. That is very important in order to make sure that you're getting exactly the type of pull that you want, if you want to be very exact about your pull. Now, that's a double shot, but that's a double shot using only one capsule. So again, this is a lungo because I'm not using two capsules right now to brew my, sh my shot of espresso. Now, as you probably guessed, a lungo being that it's roughly the size of a double shot of espresso, again, 50 to 60 milliliters of coffee right here. But remember, the difference is I only used one espresso capsule. I didn't use two. So the intensity is going to be a little bit lessened on a lungo than it is with a double shot because a double shot used two capsules. All right, so I know all that's a little confusing, we will go over it one more time at the end of this video. Before we do that, we're going to talk about the ristretto. For the ristretto, we're just going to use our espresso shot glass. And I'm not going to pour this into anything else when I'm done because very simply, there's not going to be enough coffee for me to do that. A ristretto is a very intense pull of espresso. It usually works out roughly to about 20, 18 to 20 milliliters. This is going to require a little bit of interaction on your part if you're using your Nespresso machine because what you're going to do is press your single shot button and you're not going to let the automatic cycle finish. You're going to press that and then you're going to stop it before you've pulled a full single shot of espresso. So this might require a little bit of practice. Don't be afraid to play around. Maybe take one capsule and just do this a few times to get used to it. Let's go ahead and do this on our Pixie. And that right there is about the length of a ristretto. You see how quickly I did that. And I'm a little bit below my hash mark. Now again, my crema is going to creep up towards there, but the actual amount of coffee that I've just brewed is less than what an average single shot is. And that is going to equate a ristretto. And again, in simple English, ristretto is short. It's sort of, think of it as restrained. That's how I often remember ristretto. We're sort of restraining the amount of water that we're using in our brew. The one thing we're not restraining is the flavor of the coffee. This is going to be very, very, very intense. Now, this is gonna be the most intense of any of these. Now that may seem a little bit crazy considering that there's the least amount of liquid here, but the flavor is going to be the most concentrated. So again, in plain English, ristretto means restrained. It means to not use as much water and therefore get a much stronger espresso brew out of your machine. And a ristretto is great to drink with a little bit of ice water. And the flavor of this, if you are using a quality espresso, you're really going to come to love this. It's not necessarily a, a case of quantity here. It very much ends up being quality. I love just a good ristretto shot with a pastry or something like that. The flavor is just really, really nice and you can kind of sip on it and get you know going for your entire day. So there you go, guys. I hope that you found this useful and gave you some plain English results and explanations 
of what each of these different pulls are. I hope it helps you out when you have some friends over and you're using your single serving espresso machine. If you have questions, comments, please feel free to leave them here in our video. We always love talking coffee with you guys. As always, I'm Brian with aromacup.com. Thanks for joining me in my virtual coffee shop brought to you by aromacup.com. Enjoy your cup and I'll see you guys next time. Take care. Now, let's give you a little bonus bit of information here today. One of the things that people always think when they think espresso is more caffeine. The, the, the whole thing that I hear all the time is, well, espresso has more caffeine than a cup of coffee, and it's always associated with, if you drink a shot of espresso, your eyes bulge like crazy, and you're suddenly running around the room, bouncing off the walls. It's actually not the case, and that may sound a little bit crazy because espresso is very strong and flavorful, but in reality, Espresso has less caffeine than the average cup of coffee. Now, where you're going to get about as much caffeine as a cup of coffee if you are brewing espresso is if you do one of those longer shots. Uh, in this case, I have my Lungo, which is going to give me just about as much caffeine, roughly, as a cup of coffee. A regular cup of coffee may still have a little bit more. I am going to get just about as much caffeine in a double shot as I will in a regular cup of coffee. Uh, again, I'm doubling up on two shots of espresso. That's going to make it very intense and it is going to add to the caffeine content. But that single shot and the ristretto, okay, those ones are not going to have as much caffeine as an average cup of coffee. That's just something that's worth noting because again, you know, if you have friends over or something like that and you offer them an, an espresso, they may say, oh no, I, I'll stay up all night or something like that. In reality, if they just have a single shot of espresso, they're not going to be as highly caffeinated as if they had a regular, let's say, eight or 10 ounce cup of American style coffee, which is going to have more caffeine. So that's just a little bit of added information for you guys coming to you from aromacup.com.